In a world searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back, guys and gals. Critical here. Today I'm bringing another episode of 7 Days to Die on Alpha 20.1. There was another update that came out. But for the most part, I don't think it's going to, uh, the changes are going to affect our gameplay at this point. At least nothing that I saw in the patch notes had me any concern. Now, some things have changed. The way certain blocks works have changed. The way zombies see certain blocks have, has changed. But for the most part, since I don't use the zombie force field, uh, yeah. I don't think it's going to be that big a deal, but I do have this quest to clear the area and retrieve the supplies at the farm. So go ahead and get this knocked out. I, sh well, I don't have a good wrench. <laughs> so the game's going to give me another wrench because I was complaining about my wrench. The game is spot on. What can I tell you? Ah, weapons bag. Um, okay. So I'm going to tell you something. I have seen somebody else do this. If you go through this way to get that weapons bag, that weapons bag is actually connected to this wall. If you break the wall, you break the weapons bag. So I think the only way to get the weapons bag is to bust out this hay bale. If you don't want it to break. Oh, -hoo. Well, please and thank you. Modify, take that off, complete. Modify, put that on, complete. And you're just a scrap item, definitely. All right, it's a good start of a day. Nice. Let's continue on. Do I want to go up? Yeah, let's go up first. Up and immediately down. Hey, Bale broke, broke my file. Almost angled off of it. Suck. But that's it. And it's going to break out of here. Okay. Not much use to come in. Oh, it was like a plug. Okay. Well, I didn't have to go up that way. I could just broke the plug open. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, wolf. I'm gonna take a swing, get a punch in or two. He goes loopy. Oh, now you're down. Oh, big mama tried to get a swing in. Fortunately, I went into the doorway and immediately backed out. Always a good day when you can drop big mama, right? Man, Mama takes a punch. Throw Mama from the barn or something. Movie reference. Oh, now her head went. I hate these guys so much. Spider coming in. I heard a spider. I don't see. It. There's a bear. No, but that bear was coming in. Don't break my leg. Spiders are good for breaking your leg. I don't want that right now or a sprain either. All right, no hidden items that I can see doesn't mean I don't mean that they're not there. I just don't see a hint of anything. So go up, grab a bit of trash, actually pretty decent trash. I love how they've made trash actually something. I mean, come on. I just got acid and trash. It's always a good thing. That bird just spawned in. I heard it too. And now I can see it. 
Well worth it. I hate birds. Birds need to die. I'll take your bits, I guess. The bones are the most useful. Oh, that's right. There's a safe over here. I was gonna make a joke. Is it safe to get the safe? And obviously not. Shut the door. Hit the door. I'm gonna reach out. Punch, shut the door. Oh, he got it anyways. Alright, it's just me, you. Mono a mono. Mono a broken head. Thought there was one. Now there's two. Oh, and he's inside. Stand up and take your medicine. I am liking fists. It's doing really good for me so far. Come on, one lock pick. One pick. One pick to roll them all. Yeah, I wish. But this time... Oh, 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 oh. It's so mean when you get down to like one point, you know, three, one point five and then it breaks. Actually, what's really worse is when it breaks, you barely put it in there and instantly breaks. Stop breaking my picks. Not a fun game. Come on, I've got 11 picks left. Stop going through my picks. There's going to be nothing in this stupid safe either. Oh my lord. Now I'm pissed. I'm going to keep sticking picks into you until you open up. <laughs> All the picks I spent there and I still have to try to get into this. I should have busted that one open with the uh, pick axe and use lock picks on this thing. If I get in on this one on one, one, I'm going to be surprised. And two, I'm going to be really happy. But it's just going to be ironic. Oh, my God. Sometimes I hate you, game. <laughs> Sometimes. Okay, I already had one of those. You're just a scrap, but I'll take the rest. Thank you. I mean, come on. I can't turn down steel knuckle parts. I can't make a steel knuckles yet, but I want the parts. Uh, no. Love the movie poster. Don't want the shoes, though. Sorry, had to sneeze. I was trying to hold it back, but it had to come out. Yeah, I'm going to take the, uh, <laughs> the splint. Anytime I don't take a spun is why I break a leg. And not in a good way. Okay. Alright, let me swap out. Modify. Alright, nice little cheeky upgrade. You're actually worth selling, so let's go and repair you real quick. Grab for a little more repair materials for those items. Oh, what am I doing? Pick you up and turn you into duct tape. There's a good use. And just to be on the safe side, I'll take a quick vitamin. Just, you know, I'm probably going to take a few more hits. So if I got a vitamin or two... Hopefully, I won't be infected. You know, after I grabbed the keys, I thought about the wolf that was out there before, and now I can't shut the door. I sure hope that wolf has decided to move on. Alright, I think he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. How can I miss her? I'm standing right on top of her. That's bull. Oh. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. That was nice. I'd like to do that a few more times. I was to say, this is one of the tough zombies. I hate them because I take so many hits. Yeah. 
Just call me One Punch Man. I'm, as I say, I'm hearing zombies' footsteps outside. You have a way in. You shouldn't have to beat on the door. Is, he, is the zombie going to see the way in? Probably not. It is a zombie. Actually, let's just be on the safe side. In case they do... Oh. I feel I have just woken up a lot of zombies. Go for a running charge at you. Let's do it again. Hopefully take you out. Oh. Oh, oh another big mama. There's a lot of big mamas in this house. Let's move around the back. Come here. Come on, big mama. Okay, something hit me that wasn't close. Was it the crawler? Probably a crawler. Oh man, there's just zombie noises everywhere. And I'm out of stamina. No, stay back. Move back around. Ah, stupid crawler got me again. You know what? Kill the crawler. I'm tired of it already. They're like wasting rounds, but the crawler was getting annoying. And I was constantly running out of stamina, too. Savage Country Box. Sewing kits, maybe? That would be really nice. Okay, scrap boots. Where? I'll take that truck and get the mod out of it in a few. I was trying to say what I want to do, but I keep hearing that stupid zombie outside. Should have taken care of that zombie before coming down here. I recognize the folly of my decisions, but... You know, it is what it is. Another savage country. Nerdy glass. That would be nice. Yeah. Here, five club. I don't think I would replace anything. I think the tier five wooden club could just get scrapped for the wood. Oh. Something to sell. Something to scrap. And modify. No. You know what? Let's modify you and put you on there. Sweet. It just makes my uh, machine gun just a little bit better. Oh, you're still outside. You know what? You beat on the door out there. I'm going to go out this way. How about them apples? So do I want to run back to the house to drop off Why? Yeah, I think so. Then we'll run over. Oh, there's the wolf. Excuse me. Well, no, don't bark at me. I'm going to run over to the to the place, drop off my uh, all this stuff in my inventory, and then we'll head over to the trader and see what he has. Keep forgetting I don't have infinite stamina. I need a motorcycle or mini bike would be really nice. One or the other. Of course, I prefer the motorcycle. Unfortunately, the trader doesn't reset until tomorrow, but we'll get a early look See what he's got today just in case well at least the vendor the vending machine Like nothing's changed. He's gonna have exactly what he had yesterday, but I am gonna buy the beer Um, No, nah, I think that's too much too many I will buy these though Looking for well, you did Let me see what you got an AK so I <laughs> paid. Well, yes, please. I'm not going to take a job because I'll be done with this level of quest here soon. But I will sell everything off. Time to move on. Exactly what I was thinking. Now I'm going to go over to the other town. I already have a quest over there for me. 
complete. And then that should be the last quest in this tier. And then I'll be on to tier three. But I'll get another... Um, oops, which way? I'll get another quest that will lead me to another trader. The only quest I have, why it should automatically be active. I don't know why the game does that sometimes. We have a deer. So I can get lucky. And actually have my weapon loaded it might be nice. Oh, sweet. I need some fresh meat. Sweet, 30 meat, that's good. Wouldn't mind running, oh, there's a wolf. I don't think I'd be able to take the wolf out as quickly. But it might, well, no, there's more. More stuff coming in, let's just get out of here. Ah, oh, that's right, I should go over. Oh no, I already searched those because that was the last place I was at. I'm thinking that I should go around. Okay, so it did drop off because that's the uh, the third or the fourth time that I've opened something that always had a book in it that no longer has books in it. Or like the magazines. So that does drop off eventually. Cool. I still think it was a little too much on the nose. Like every time I searched, I got something, but... The fact that it finally fell off, I guess that's the idea is in the beginning of the game up to a certain level or up to a certain loot level, it's always going to give you one. And once you get to that, whatever their cutoff is, then you're not going to see it anymore. That was a good cash cow for a while. Kind of wish before I leveled up anymore, I'd come over here just ransack the whole town for all of its magazines and stuff oh no took a hit trying to avoid that touch me i beat you well let's be honest i'm gonna beat it anyways but i'm just gonna hit him a little bit harder because he touched me uh, locked move Upstairs, somebody woke up next door. One good thing about this playthrough, I'm not so worried, you know, it's like, oh, I gotta be quiet, I gotta be sneaky. It is a completely different play style, it does feel a little bit better. Get that free knockdown. Unfortunately, I got away from his hand, but that does give me a chance to get my stamina back. That was haymaker after haymaker after haymaker, trying to put him down. Okay, there are a lot of zombies outside. I need to find a way out. Because, oops, looks like a good building. Let me out, I need to take care of this. I don't wanna be in here. <laughs> I do not want to be in here. All right, a few of them are probably going to drop outside and the rest should come down the front. Oh, <laughs> it's raining zombies. I had a feeling I had attracted a wandering horde. All right, conga line, everybody. My buff is active. Oh, no. I haven't killed anything yet. Give me a kill so I can get the extra damage. Oh no, 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 no. Bad timing, bad timing.
Sorry, being quiet. I've got to uh, move back a little bit. Thank you. Back off. Oh, I left that vitamin at home. That'd be so useful right now. Maybe I'll get lucky and loot one. I love this mod. It's just you never know when that horde's going to come in. And you have to be on your toes. Can't hit finally. All right. Let's get back to what we were doing. Searching a bathroom that I missed on the way out. All right. Any good water? Actually, yes. Very good water. Lots of cobblestone. I actually could use all the cobblestone I can get. So give me a second. All right, I got my cobble on. Oh, food pile. Come on, search. Not worth the jumps, I guess, but... I'll hold on to it so I can make the, the, the drink, I guess. Got that. Check these real quick. Now, which way was I supposed to go? I mean, I know which way I went, but I don't think that was the way I was supposed to go. Keep going up, I'm guessing. Yep. Upstairs? Or no, probably around the corner. This feels like a large... Uh, apartment that goes all the way around the building. I'm thinking there's somebody in that room right there. Oh, bathroom and nope, nobody in here. And no cheeky toilet pistol. I don't think I've seen one yet this playthrough. They are a rare item, so. I think I already have one. Where, where, I like mine better. Better on heat resist though. But I'm in a cold environment, so I'll leave it concentrated on cold. Okay, birdie. Uh, yep, there's a bird, all right. I can just get an angle on you. <laughs> I don't care if I woke up all the other things on the roof. Just as long as the bird's dead. All right, one breaking in there. Probably gonna get through in the next hit. No, nope, not yet. Can I beat her down before he gets out? Yeah, just about. I think this is the last zombie. I still have to find the supplies, though. Nice. Oh, just on the other side. And a plug. Okay. Give me my goods. Thank you very much. The area isn't... Oh, yeah. Final room. I'm guessing this is going to be kind of nasty. But I don't have to drop in there. Because I had a zombie that was very helpful. And opened this up for me. So no reason to drop into it. I can just work in from the side. Actually, I will take the coal. I haven't been mining it don't have the the skills to mine very, very well yet. So I will take that coal. Wake up. Anybody here? 
I know there's somebody around, just don't know where you're at. Come out and I'll kill you quickly. I promise. Of course I'm encumbered. Because I'm picking up all this junk that I really don't need. Let's uh, drink that. Uh, yeah, eat the chicken ration. Alright, give me a little bit more space I can work with. Ooh. Um, no. Didn't think it would be worth it, but figured I'd check. Oh, I didn't want to drop down here. Maybe I did, I don't know. Since I already have an in my inventory, I'll keep... Ah, there we go. Oh, not another crawler. I hate crawlers. Alright, take care of you for... Oh, wow. Alright, cool. Still not clear, though. All right, uh, well, it's not the final room. Yes. I wonder how far I have to go down to find a, the final room. I know I've done this place before, but I think it was only one time before. So I kind of don't remember it very well. Back up? Yeah, that was sealed. So the main room is down here, I guess. Well, I guess follow the light. Ah, bulletproof glass down at the bottom, of course. So I kind of do appreciate how it leads you through the building, all the way up onto the roof, all the way back down, and then your final loot's on the bottom. I do appreciate the level design that seven days to, to die is finally employing. Now you can subvert the level design if you know where to go, but I do appreciate that they're finally providing some kind of level design. Oh boy. And that will go everybody up. Oh my Lord. Reload, make sure this is loaded because there's a cop coming around the corner. See if I can Okay, finally have the cop. Yeah. You were you irradiated or were you just green? No, just green, okay. Like what the hell? I mean cop still, but if it hadn't been a radiated cop, I would have been like, Are you effing kidding me? The tier two. Not that hard of a tier two either. And also not the greatest reward. Shamway foods. I think the best I can get out of here would be some recipes. I mean, just straight up food would be nice, but for decent loot, recipes of some sort. Three pumpkins and some burnt meat. Okay, yeah, that wasn't really, really good loot. Uh, I thought I was done in here. Oh, big mama. I wasn't clear. I should have known I wasn't done in here. Okay, excuse me, big mama. Can you, uh, yeah, can you cover up your derriere? Thank you. Now you're dead. Can I get some vitamins, please? Just about everything but vitamins. Okay. And the trunk has, ooh. More Dukes and loot. Okay, sure. Why not? Some more steel knuckle parts. I do appreciate the guy. The game keeps giving me steel knuckle parts. Modify. Put that on you. Make my tier six even that much better. Scrap. I'll never use. Eh, do I want the lead? I guess so. And let's go ahead and use that. 
I won't get full use out of it, but it'll clear up an inventory spot. All right, off to the trader to get this turned in. There is a button over here that opens up the back door. Yep. Ooh, a few trash cans. Let's search these real quick. And some some regular resources in the trash cans. The car, though. Cars are good loot containers. Most times. All right, I'm going to get us back to the trader, get this turned in, and get that juicy quest reward, hopefully. All right, made it over to the trader. I did hit a couple more um, newsstand places and some mailboxes, and I still picked up a few... Uh, books and recipes so it wasn't like it's gone completely cold turkey i think the percentage chance just kind of balanced out at least that's the way it's feeling um and i think that's actually i'm gonna buy this it lasts for 15 minutes and a stam regen of 15 percent i think i'm gonna be using those for horde night That might be a really good use of that. Think you're pretty hot shit now. Well, you well, I think I'm so doing long pretty long good, so thank you very much. And yes, it is. Okay. Mealy mods, farm, cloth armor, food bundle, or forged iron. Okay, forged iron. If it was forged steel, I'd take it in a heartbeat, not even thinking about it. But the food bundle is huge because it's usually a really good food. So I'll take that special job trade route. Job oh. For you, if we can oh my God. Another trader hue. Jamity Christmas. There's hues everywhere. There's a hue there. There's a hue here. There's a hue everywhere. Holy hues. Batman. I couldn't resist. I had to go there. Um, anything else? Uh, yeah, let's sell this. That. Those. And that. One last look in your inventory because it's going to change out tomorrow. I don't think you... Ooh, a little concrete mix. For my horde base, that could go a long way. Just that little bit could make a huge difference. But I don't want to do that. There's too much other stuff. Let's see what's this. No, it's just bows, and I'm not using bows, so. I've got 16, over 16K oh, right now. Like and the traders are going to be resetting tomorrow, so. I think I'll save my money. I will admit that concrete did kind of interest me, but. All right, so which way is... This, ah, okay, right over there. I guess we could take a quick sneak over there and take a look at it. Kind of wish it was in the other direction, but I don't know. All right, all right, I'm moving. God, they get so touchy around here if you stay too long in their area. All right, this other town is coming into view. It looks to be... And the winter biome as well. Take a little cross country jaunt into it. Oh, it's a decent sized city as well. There's a couple big buildings over there. Now it could be that there's only two big buildings in the entire town. I just happen to see them in the distance, but that's, you know, oh no, take this back. Oh, wait a second. Is that tree leaves not popping in yet, or is that wasteland? I still can't tell. Okay, I think it's not waste. I was like, man, that'd be cool if wasteland was right there. That looks like wasteland, the tree. 
that's wasteland. And there's a town right in the wasteland. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh yeah, right there's wasteland, and there's a now the big buildings I saw were in the wasteland, and that's the per what the person told me that I had look at this map for me, and said that there were decent sized cities in the wasteland. Okay, makes me really happy. At least I know where the wasteland is, and I've already found a city in the wasteland. This city seems. Like a medium to small town is the feel of it so far. Yeah, this is a smaller town, but that's fine. This is like a, a way station, uh, a go between between me and my final goal, which is, of course, the wasteland. And another Trader Hugh. I guess that's what happens on most of the worlds I've generated. You seem to find a single trader and you find multiples of that trader. And then you get like a, a, spra a splattering of other traders. Last season, it was Trader Jens I had and Trader Joel's. And so far this season, the only traders I've seen are Trader Hughes. Now their POI is nice because there's a lot to loot. Oh, two beers. Thank you very much. I'll buy the skull crushers. And that's it. Does this look like a lounge to you? Incredible. No, I it looks like someplace I need to loot and steal from. Your body. Let me look at your inventory and let's see what you might have. Yes, I know I feel we oh generator bank. I'm gonna buy that immediately. No if, ands, or buts. It's just instant C, instant buy. Four jars of honey. It's like if I don't buy it, then I know I'm going to need it later. And I'm not going to have it. I'll think on it. It's one of those I want to think on. Okay, mini buy candle bar schematic. Oh, Cement mixer, buying that instantly. Um, that is one I have to think about. Only 2K. If he had the frame, I could put it all together tomorrow. I'd probably do it. But he doesn't. And I don't think there's anything else you have that I might want. Several sets of knuckles, but nothing better than what I've already got. Okay, do I buy this or hold off for something better? Better would mean an actual motorcycle schematic for the frame or the handlebars. But if... Yeah, I don't think I can pass that up. Do I already have a bellow? I think I... Th thought I bought a bellows. So I am going to have to buy this. I I don't want to spend the money. I wanted to save the money, but that's okay. Cause it's something that's actually worthwhile. Now I've got three traders and hopefully one of them tomorrow will give me either the schematic or the actual frame for the motorcycle, uh, the mini bike. And at least I can have a mini bike. Are we done here? Uh, yes, and you know what? I am actually really happy that I came over here. I got several things that actually, I got several things I needed. Let me look for post. Okay. No. Daylight's burning. Yes, I know. You've said that before. I, I know I've heard that. Must have been on one or the other. Okay, I can make this already. All right, I need to make a couple of those when I get home. Now that I have a generator, putting some electricity into my uh, base is uh, a good priority. Oh man, dude, you got good loot. Give me the good stuff. Um, okay, pain bill actually is a really good one. I've already looked inside you. 
Take your toilet pistol. No. I still haven't uh, picked any of their safes. I'm waiting until my loot stage is like closer to 100. I think it's like 93 that you're uh, on par for tier 3 loot. So I'm saving that loot stuff, those high-end loot items, till later. But I'm getting really close now. Now I need to start making choices. Uh, just that. Yeah, zombies, you can beat on the place all you want. You can't break through. They can glitch through occasionally, but they can't break through. I hate looting when I'm full. It really sucks. Give me some beer. Hey, I asked for beer, I got beer. Nice. Oh, no books over there. I was hoping for a sewing kit. I haven't seen hardly any sewing kits yet, so. That's one of those items that is, oh, hello. Use and use. Let's see what the ammo boxes have. Okay, they have ammo in them. That's really funny. Who would ever have thought that the ammo box have the schematic in it? I was gonna say, if that has the schematic in it and I didn't search it before buying it, <laughs> that would've been funny. It would've been par for the course, but it still would've been funny. Unfortunately, this base, uh, the POI no longer has barbed wire around it. So the zombies aren't as, or wolves aren't as active in taking themselves out for me. Oh, you're a dire wolf too. Yeah, I don't want to mess with you if I can help it. That's a, a machine gun moment if I face that wolf. So now I need to go back to my horde base and actually add on to it. Now that I have a generator. Oh, I do I, I don't think I have an engine. I need to be wrenching some cars. Cause I need an engine for sure. Take that machine gun part. Hey, three piggies. I'll come back for your your goods later, piggies. I'm probably going to come by this place tomorrow. And one more little ammo pile. More shotgun. And I'll just scrap you. Oh, that's right. I got to go down below. Almost forgot. That box is almost always empty. The fact that I found something in it, I was actually surprised. Of course, another schematic. Why not? Cornmeal adds to what I already had. And we'll go ahead and drink that. Okay, overall pretty good, not bad. I'm gonna take another squid, run through this town and see if there's anything interesting. My guess is no. And then I'm gonna head back to my base, drop off all this stuff and see if I have an engine. 
because that's probably the last thing I need. There are a few vehicles I can uh, wrench in my area that I won't say is a guarantee, but your chances of getting engines off them is really good. Buses, um, the working stiff style trucks, any of those, and just not the standard cars. And you have a really good chance of getting engines off of them. Now, I'm not ready for the wasteland yet. That is a little ways off. I mean, I could go into the wasteland right now, but I probably wouldn't make it back out. So possibly after the day 14 horde, maybe I'll be to the point that I feel comfortable enough to go into the wasteland. We'll have to see. Once you recipe, I'll take that. Definitely. I'm at light schematic recipe. Okay. So I just got the recipe for the helmet light mod. I threw it away. That completes my obligation to throw away either the helmet light mod that I first one that I get or, you know, the recipe for it. So that promise has been fulfilled. Ooh, that's a good one. So yeah, I'm starting to see more regular schematics showing up in the newspaper stands now. Finally made it back home. Tools and parts. Ooh, I do have an engine. So generator. Let's look at that food bundle. Chili dogs. Okay. Really good food, especially this early in the game. It's not the best food or anything, but still really good food. Do I have? No. I want to see if I had any of the posts already, but I can craft a few. I should only need two. Engine, I need gas. I'm still going to need another engine because I want to make a cement mixer. All right, got my electrical posts. Run over to the horde base real quick. And I'll take a look and see how I want to put my electrical fence post in. I know when I, tr I'm going to try a different kind of base. Um, it's going to be a merging of two different styles, elevation, and then a fighting area, which is a little bit longer, but giving the zombies a reason to go from point A to point B across where I'm going to fighting and then using uh, fence posts to slow them down, I think. Okay, so do I knock... Here, basic shape. Yes, I could do that. I mean, I can craft more, but this shouldn't collapse anything. But if I put it there, it's going to be too low. That's a good placement. It's just too low. Which means I have to take out that block right there. You know, one thing I've just remembered I forgot. I don't know if I have a wiring tool. <laughs> I'll have all the stuff available. I'll have a generator. I'll have everything. And I won't have a wiring tool. And I'll have to try to find a wiring tool. That's going to be hilarious.
I don't want this thing to float, but I think that this part's going to have to float. I mean, it's not my fault. I could take the, uh, this out, but it's concrete and would just take forever. So for right now, that's going to go there. Ooh, that did take up a thousand gas. Okay, so that's how much it actually holds. Okay. I never actually waited. Okay, I'm putting gas in. It holds X amount. So, okay, tool. Wiring tool. I can craft one. It's going to take nine steel and three mechanical parts. If I don't already have one. Now, I have the post going from here to across there. The idea is anything that reaches this point will get electrocuted right here in front of me. And it'll allow me to sit here and just punch and they'll basically be stunned and I get the punch. It's low enough that it'll, um, any dogs or anything or crawlers come up will get shocked as well. Um, can I, you know, I could get over here to repair too. I think I have the proper angle that I could do repair, but it would be on this side. Come over repair and then I can go right back in. Convenient. That works. I don't like this thing floating, but it, it is what it has to be right now. I am going to try to find a wiring tool. I'm going to go wrench for some more engines because I need at least one more for my, uh, new cement mixer that I know how to make now. But I'm going to go ahead and call the episode here. I've been critical. This has been seven days to die on alpha 20.1. I hope you guys have enjoyed this content. If you have drop a like, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.